the Joe Rogan experience. Well, it's going to be real weird to see what happens when they turn it back on again. Right. And society goes back. How long is it going to take for us to even out? Because it's going to be a rocky restart. It's going to be rocky. Yeah, there's going to be some warm up. You know, it's it, it's going to yeah. It, Dude, it, I saw an article that were saying people are criticizing Governor Newsom for opening up too soon. I'm like, stay home, stay home. Don't yes. tell everybody to stay home. You stay home. Right. You stay home. Enough. We can't just stay home forever. This is not a, a valid strategy for dealing with the virus. This is not how it works. There's all this talk, mm -hmm. all this talk, like as if. Every, anyone has the, the correct answer. It is sad. I mean, you know, we were talking about it earlier that, you know, all these businesses are going to go under like the, you know, you know, child care and barber shops and stuff like that. It's like gyms. And, and they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't. They did everything right. And, you know, yeah. I don't know, maybe in hindsight, it's going to turn out that it was the right thing to do and that it stopped the spread of the virus. And even though there was some flare ups here and there. It made people more aware, and the virus eventually goes away. Maybe it's possible. But even if but, it's not the right thing to do, I think people are just you know, doing it out of caution because we don't know what it is. But it's not the only strategy. There was other strategies that could be employed, and they, they could have made people more cognizant and protecting themselves. It would have really greatly slowed the risk of transmission, and I think you could have let people stay working. Mm -hmm. When you tell people they can't work, I don't, I don't like that. You know, and I don't like that not just because it's unconstitutional. I don't like that because I don't like people telling people what to do. And I don't like that because I don't like one person being in charge of figuring out what's right or wrong. And I don't know if it's one person or 100 people, but what's right or wrong for an entire state of 40 million people to right. do. And to make up the, the mind for them based on what? Based on just because you got voted into office? Right. That doesn't make any sense to me. You should be dealing with like legitimate problems, not controlling the population through some Orwellian mandate. We just d d deem it that everyone has to stay home. And then you even offer rewards for people in LA. The mayor was offering rewards mm -hmm. for people turning people in who weren't social distancing. Yeah, that just that opens up a can of worms. It's that crazy. it's like it's not it's all yeah, the wrong moves. That's not going to help anyone. That. You know, when I heard that the, the whole thing that you can basically snitch on somebody not wearing a mask or not doing, and you what get money. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, you're you're setting people up to, yeah, it's it's not a good thing, dude. It's so. Did you ever see the article where it says normally it's snitches get stitches, <laughs> but in this case it's snitches get reward. Like they're even calling it a snitch. And and it was an official thing that they released. Yes. Like, oh my god, some marketing person was like, yeah. I got the thing. I don't know if it was an official thing or it was the article on it that was oh. in the L.A. Times, That's whatever it was. And I was like, what are you saying? This is a terrible idea. You're encouraging people to turn people in for rewards? Do you not understand psychology? Like, there's people that have grudges against people. There's people that are they don't right. like their neighbor. They're just going to turn each other in. Right. You can't give people that kind of power. Right. You give people the power to just say, Tim, it's him. He's got the scarlet letter. And then, then fucking they look up your ass with a microscope, see if you've been social distancing. Hey, Seuss, I got my eye on you. Six right. feet. Six feet. Mask. Hand sanitizer. Yep. Stay safe. Stay home. Watch your head. I'm going into a cop car. They Dang don't know it. what the fuck yeah. they're doing, man. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. No one knows what the fuck they're doing. For them to tell us what to do, like, definitely you have to do. No, maybe you should do it that way. Maybe you should wear a mask and you should stay home. <laughs> I don't don't look, tell me what to do. They already have had this on the county page for like snitches get rewards for turning people in for crimes. I'm just well, looking at their site now. Crimes I still don't like the reward. The reward should be you're a good citizen. Like if you see someone breaking into someone's car and you manage to catch their plate, you should turn that in because you're a good citizen. It's you should cash. You get cash. It's a how much? Cash. It doesn't say it says you receive payment for the <laughs> how reward. Much? It doesn't say how much. <laughs> I'm fixing to change my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know, man. Yeah, I think a lot of silly when, stuff. You give people money for things, you incentivize them. You know, it makes it dangerous because you can't. There's an incentive to go one way or the other. So if someone sees a crime and they want to turn that, you know, they want to give up the information about that crime, whether it's a license plate or a description or you got a video or something like that. You do that because you're a good person. You don't want your mom to get robbed like that. You do right. that because you don't want your neighbor to get robbed. You do that because there's a problem in your community. There's a person who's committing a crime, and as a community, we organize, we look, we look out for each other. We found this guy. This, this, this person's fucking up. 
well, like the inception of this program wasn't it like a like a neighborhood watch program Somewhat. and you, like you always see wrong with that. you always see these signs it's like who is in this neighborhood watch program yeah that's the other thing right how much are they watching you know people are so lazy <laughs> This is kind of what, there's a bunch of actual <laughs> rewards up here right now. They're looking for information on a bunch of shootings and oh, I'm sure twenty five thousand dollar reward. Bro, here's the thing, they don't have the time. They don't have the time. There's so many things that are going on in L. A. at all times. Somebody breaks in your house. Like, did you die? Look, well, we got we got shit to do. They're not gonna have a full time Columbo on the job with the fucking dusting for fingerprints. They don't have and, that kind of bandwidth. There's no. They way. don't have that kind of bandwidth. <laughs>